During this coffee situation, I passed upon one of the Game Boy Nana videos. I wanted to build it, and the real Phoenix had it all tied it up for me. I just wanted to put a couple more stuff on top of it, because my video is a little different. I tried to make this video as compact and impactful as possible, so here we go. First, let's start with components. PiZero W for SSH purposes, TP4056, 1200mAh LiPo, SSD1351 display, SMD tactile switches, a slide switch, a micro SD, and some screws, although it will be a glue fest anyway, and 3D printed parts. To match the color scheme, I used 3D pen filaments sold in 10 meter length. I also used D pad remix with internal organizer too. BOM is in the description. Now, let's get to the build. We will first build the button PCB. You can see the reference image here, and it's like doing battleships. Match the holes and solder up. Also, for shared ground, use staples to make pseudo rails. Use Dremel to trim the boards. Go ahead and glue the button PCB to the top piece along with the buttons once you're done. The power wiring is as simple as it gets. Solder the battery to the TP4056 board. Ground from TP4056 to the middle pin of the slide switch, right pin to the Pi's ground. TP4056 VCC connects to Pi VCC directly. Pay attention as it would get so confusing to rewire it from now on. I've improved some visibility of the schematics. Take this as a reference and follow it. Next, display. Since this is designed for like SSD1351 by Adafruit, the Waveshare thing I bought didn't fit, so I had to trim it. Solder the wires to the display. There is no mounting solution for faceplate and display, so you need to glue them down. Before going any further, you'll need to burn the SD card. Download RetroPie, use Etcher to burn it. After doing so, plug the Pi in. Phoenix has a clean video for setting it up, so I'll leave the link here. Once it's done, fit the Pi into the organizer and put it in place. The screen part also has an organizer to keep the batteries away from Pi, but tape the GPIO for good measure. I recommend putting glues on every corner because if anything gets free, it's harder to change anything. TP4056 gets pretty hot when charging, so secure it with VHB or foam tape. Oh, and don't hot glue the battery in. If everything went well, then you should see the RetroPie logo when the slider is on right. Off to troubleshooting if it does not work. After changing inputs, close the box and screw it in. So overall, do I like this build? No. Compared to the Minty Pie, there are no first party instruction nor any kind of standoff to boot. It's truly what do I say? Uh can you say for me, Phoenix? Blue fist. Yeah. But there's something fun when you're building something as this bizarre. Definitely requires higher skill sets though. I say go for the minty pie if you have some budget. That's it. I'll see you guys later.